It's a Sunday morning in early August in Winchester. There's King Alfred's statue and I'm continuing the Itchin Way from the city mill where I left off last time. And this is the third stage of my Itchin Way walk and I'm going to walk as far as Eastleigh. And it's a bit deeper here where it's being channeled through. Apparently it used to be twice as wide as it is now. One of many locks I'm going to see today on this stretch. The cathedral bells ringing. This is Wolvesey, the home and offices of the Bishop of Winchester. And behind is Wolvesey Castle. And these are the walls of the castle. This is another mill building and it's at the head of what's known as the Itchin Navigation which is a canal which ran all the way up to Winchester and cottages alongside the old wharf at the head of the canal and this is the old navigation looking much more canal-like than the fast flowing river over to the west. Northern, which is in Southampton. It's uh, 12 miles. Do not Colm is. And this is Tunbridge. Walking south along the old towpath. Over to the west, the church at St. Cross. St. Catherine's Hill and Twyford Down. This is the site of an old mill they used to saw wood. This is where the main road used to run before they extended the motorway and cut it through Twyford Down. The long straight St Cross Bridge. Under the M3 for the second time. And after the split into the canal and the river and hundreds of little channels. The Itchin is back as one body for a short stretch. Soon it will divide again into the river and the canal. And here's the division, the canal this side and the river this side.
for a navigation or a canal, it's flowing quite strongly. This is Twyford Meads. Over the meads is Twyford Church. Now at Shawford. Now the path is running directly alongside the railway. Autumn on the horse chestnut leaves and conkers on their way. And here they're extracting 45 million litres of water every day for Southampton City. Continuing along the towpath towards Bambridge. Another old lock. The road bridge near Bambridge House. And again the river on one side and the navigation on the other. From the canal to the river. Now at High Bridge, the railway bridge over the navigation. Arriving on the northern edge of Eastleigh. And again looping back under the railway. Here at Eastleigh, just by the goods yard, the navigation and the river have once again joined. And again, much deeper, slower moving here. I was wondering what the barges look like and here's one of them. So wide and flat, not very deep bow. And here at the lock on the right is a navigation for the fish. The salmon come up from the Atlantic. Here's where I'm ending today's walk, at the bridge between Bishopstoke and Eastleigh. The river continuing south towards Southampton. <laughs>